long ago, when witchers did not yet roam the land, mages had already acquired a taste for experimentation. Those experiments did not always go as well as one might like, at least for the local populace. But that would not deter a stalwart experimenter of, most specifically, biological mutation with a focus on the creation of hybrids. Two such mages were Cosimo Malaspina and his apprentice, Alzur. Together they roamed the land and laboratories, creating this monster or that, eventually passing on their knowledge to Alzur's later apprentice, Idaran of Ulivo, a man whose creations were a thorn in many a witcher's side long after his death. IDRULIX 0012 Beta A long silence fell. Idaran of Ulivo, Pinety said at last, surprisingly quiet and surprisingly hesitantly. One of Alzur's students. I never expected. Where did you get it, Witcher? Pockmarked Axel leaned across the table. How did you come by it? You ask as though you didn't know, retorted Geralt. I dug it out of the carapace of a creature I killed. One that had murdered at least twenty people in the district. At least twenty. For I think it was many more. I think it had been killing for years. Idaran, muttered Tarvik Sandoval. And before him, Malaspina and Alzur. Yes, monsters. While Idaran was no doubt skilled, it was Malaspina and Alzur who were famed for their advances in the world of monster creation. They had written spells such as the Double Cross of Alzur, a spell that could enhance the size of any creature to gigantic proportions. Alzur would use these spells on all sorts of creatures, from centipedes and spiders to the Vige of Maribor, his final creation, which destroyed half of Maribor, and also accidentally killed Alzur himself before fleeing into the woods. There was also the Triangle Within a Triangle, a method with which one can equally create gigantic creatures, are you noticing a pattern here? They did not create monster-enhancing spells exclusively, of course. Alzur also created Alzur's Thunder, an apparently rather complicated but powerful destruction spell that was meant to be cast using a loud and clearly enunciating voice. It doesn't need to be said that these spells were nothing if not extremely dangerous, so dangerous that they were eventually hidden away entirely. Once, they were found by a man named Freganal, who immediately used it to create an enormous monster of his own, with which he terrorized the countryside, only to have Geralt's parents find him and put a stop to the whole affair. Yes, Alzur and Malaspina's spells were so powerful that those within the magical community came to the conclusion that they must have had help in creating them at all. There were rumors that they had gained access to other planes, that they'd consorted with demons and learned their secrets and knowledge. Of course, Demons are not wont to fraternize with humans all too well, nor do they enjoy being told to divulge their secrets, which is precisely why it's more likely that the two just experimented on a whole host of helpless, living things to achieve the desired results. And those strange experiments would eventually culminate in the creation of the Witchers, the magical warriors who would go forth and defend humanity from all the monsters of the world. Monsters in part created by the creators of the witchers themselves, perhaps they felt guilty to some extent. Through various spells and potions, they managed to completely change the biological structure of a young boy. They often died in the process, of course, but I needn't tell you that the mages were quite used to the sacrifice of life in the name of science. Something the mages that followed them would agree is simply necessary to get anywhere at all. In fact, when Geralt does point out that perhaps these experiments have done more harm than good, he gets an earful from a member of said mage society. And what have you done, most stupid of assassins? The old man yelled. What did you do? Do you comprehend what a work of art, what a miracle of genetic you have ruined? No, no, you cannot conceive of that with your shallow mind. Layman, you cannot comprehend the ideas of brilliant people such as Idaran and Alzer, his teacher, who were graced with genius and extraordinary talent, who invented and created great works meant to serve humanity without taking profit nor taking base mammon into account, not recreation nor diversion, but solely progress and the common well. But what can you apprehend of such things? You apprehend nothing, 
Nothing, nothing, not a scrap. And indeed, I tell you further, Ortel unpanted, that you have dishonored the work of your own fathers with this impudent murder. For it was Cosimo Malaspina, and after him his student, Halzer, yes, Alzer, who created the witchers. They invented the mutation, owing to which men like you were bred, owing to which you exist, owing to which you walk upon this earth, ungrateful one. You ought to esteem Alzur, his successors and their works, and not destroy them. Yes, be thankful for your creation, Witcher Geralt. Another experiment that the experimentee did not quite agree with. Another experiment that took place without considering the cost or its consequences. I give you Alzur and Malaspina, monsters creating monster slayers to destroy the monsters they themselves again created. I'm sure you're not surprised, but we're not doing skits at the end cards today either. I am so sorry. My patrons are getting titles today. I hope you appreciate those too. Wall Guy the Illustrious. Robertson the Enlightened. Lakmoin the Fierce. MJ Coolsta the Impressive. Septic the Catist. Mike Zuiers the Unrelenting. Adrian Packle the Impeccable. Ray Ray the Fortuitous. Freeman the Wise! 